I got a brand new solar bike, but more about that in a second. And now I will take you with me on a two day bikepacking trip. Uh, let's go. Behind me, you can see my Artsup TIE Fly X. So three wheels, each 26 inch wheels, and I built a solar roof on top. It's fixed. This time, no uh, automatic orientation or something like that. It's a fixed panel. It's horizontal mounted. I think we should continue our journey and uh, start cycling. One thing I have to say about the TIE Fly X already, after riding like five kilometers, uh, it's so comfortable. Uh, you have suspension front and rear. Uh, in the front, there are uh, titanium uh, plates that uh, give you like 40 millimeters of travel. Also in the rear with Fox Float. And uh, it's so comfortable. It's, yeah, I think we can go off roading later in this video. First problem the crossing of the cycling line so uh, let's see if we can get through there Ooh. Ooh. oh yeah. yeah let's see oh. it's okay i think oh. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go Whew. another one We go into the Spessart where we are going to camp. That's why I have my two-person tent with me. Also, I have a new sleeping bag. Uh, you can see here, it's a Nordisk uh, winter bivac sleeping bag for, uh, I think, comfort temperature is something like at minus 20 degrees. So uh, we'll not freeze today, but uh, we will get, I think, around uh, minus four degrees. So it will be a big test. Hello. Hello. We are doing our first big climb, 300 meters of elevation. And uh, yeah, it's going up quite steep, but uh, we will make it. We left the main road and now off track, at least some uh, forest tracks. They look pretty muddy. Uh, let me check my bags. Yep, yeah, they are fine. And uh, some more 200 meters of elevation. Let's go. We are on top of the mountain. It was pretty tough. Uh, there's actually a sleeping shelter or hiking shelter. I would like to take that one as a sleeping spot, but we need food. So uh, we will roll down there and then we go shopping and find a sleeping spot. Let's go. No way. No way. I took the wrong one. No fucking way. Shit. Yeah, we have to go up. 
No. So, let's get something to eat. All packed up, ready to go. Holy shit, it's fucking steep, look at this. Let's see if we'll make it. Oh, leg. Oh my, I, I was falling. Oh, fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. God damn it. Crash. Fuck. Alles gut. Well, this cable is pretty damaged anyways. Other than that, I think my construction was holding up pretty well. That was very shocking. Uh, I had no second to respond or to somehow steer different, uh, move my weight somehow. Obviously it was my fault. I, I wasn't calculating my pedaling right, but uh, it was not very soft the landing not too hard but uh, I think a pillow is always worth taking with you because no matter what hiking or biking uh, you have to sleep very well of course we are eating pasta tonight and therefore we got pesto and uh, some feta cheese so uh, yeah it will be pretty good after a long day of riding it's uh, the best eating some pasta it's time to go to bed so yeah see you tomorrow Okay, uh, breakfast and then uh, continue. But uh, yeah, it's pretty wet outside. It's okay. Mm. It's pretty cold, but good. There we go, back on track. Some off-roading, I think the, the trike performs very well. Uh, if you get the feel out of it, how it leans and uh, when it kind of flips over, you uh, counter steer and it rides very well. So uh, yeah, back on main road and uh, let's do some downhill. Another fishing lake. Good spot to uh, take off the jacket because it's actually getting pretty warm while cycling. Oh, I really like the, the whole bag setup. I will show you in a second. Uh, we got in total six Oddly bags. So, uh, yeah, we got uh, one on each side of the six and a half liter small uh, front bags for normal bikes. Uh, I use them to store my camera equipment as well as uh, uh, sound box and uh, all this stuff. In this bag we got <clears throat> one battery on the other side as well. So we got two batteries in total as well as yeah in this bag there is my bottle, a thermo bottle with hot water so uh, I can warm my hands and drink some tea or so. Uh, also, in this bag, there's all the clothes, everything I want to wear. Only the jacket has to be stored on top of this. 
so I can grab it very fast if it's raining or so. In this bag, you can see, uh, oh no, you can't see, but there's, uh, yeah, all the stuff I need for cooking as well as some more clothes. And yeah, on this side, battery and uh, bottle as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's nice, it's very nice here. Our two-day bikepacking trip is slowly coming to an end. I made 130 kilometers in two days, very chilled. We could have done even more, but uh, I will be at my destination in a few kilometers. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think we learned a lot about tricycle bikepacking. Uh, we flipped the bike, we... I showed you the setup of my packaging. Uh, if you want to see more about that, comment below and I will make an extra video about that. Uh, let's have one last look at the bike and uh, yeah, then uh, yeah, please subscribe to miss no future video because uh, I will be bikepacking for quite some time with this setup and I will make videos about it. So yeah, that's my Azub Typhly X solar conversion if you want. Uh, we can uh, get a name for the bike comment below and uh, I will see you in the next video have a good one bye bye